Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is the Brita 21 uh, A ammo test. Uh, this video was originally meant for the Brita 21 A uh, firearms review. Uh, if you wish to watch that review, uh, I'll put a link in the info box and also in the uh, the video response box if you want to wish to watch that clip. In this test, we will test uh, various types of ammo uh, in the 21A uh, chambered and 22 long rifle. Uh, what we're going to do now is reliability test uh, to kind of test some different types of ammo. Uh, like I said before, with any type of 22, uh, you know, long rifle ammo, you're going to run into problems here and there, mostly due to you know the, the rimfire uh, type cartridge and stuff like this. But uh, we're going to run through a couple types of ammo here just to get a decent reference and see what uh, works best. Alright, for this test I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, after each time we fire through some of this type of ammo, we're going to clean the barrel and chamber. Uh, reason because of this, because this firearm has no extractor to extract the shells out, so if your chamber gets real dirty, uh, you'll have problems pulling the rounds out after ejection. So after this test, uh, each time we test a different type of ammo, we're going to clean the chamber, clean the barrel, and then we'll shoot the other type of ammo to do it. Alright, for this first test we're going to use Remington Gold Bullets. We're going to fire uh, three magazines, that would be three uh, seven round magazines. If we have any problems, we'll stop, review the problem, see what it was. If we have any problems, most likely it will be because of the rimfire cartridge itself. Rounds in the gun. As we can see, the round in there, the striker hit the rim fire itself, but the round didn't go off. What we'll do for this is we'll simply eject the round. To clear this pistol is a little different than most others. You don't want to rack, rack it, because you have no extractor, so it won't extract the round itself. So what you want to do is flip that and see how the round went flying out. You literally want to flip your barrel switch, which I'll go through in the review if I have not covered it already. And this will eject the round itself, or you might have to flip it and tap it. Then you can go to racking. Alright, this next type is a uh, Winchester Super X hollow points. Uh, note, most of these rounds I'll be using in this test will be hollow points for a self-defense type aspect. to extract. What we're going to do is pop the lip open and see if we can knock out that round. Okay, there it is. I got too bunched up so I couldn't extract it uh, manually. I had to take a piece of brass and actually pull it out. Uh, you'll find this is most cheap by ammo. I'm not saying Winchester Super X is cheap. I'm just saying for a self-defense type load, it's not the best. failure to feed. Another failure to feed. This guy don't like Winchester Super X, man. Don't use Winchester Super X. Don't use Winchester Super X. Bottom line. Alright, this next type of ammo we're going to use is a Federal Champion. Stove fight, but that was the last round. So 
little stovepipe, though. Failure to extract all the way, which caused a uh, round to bump up into it. out again. Failure to feed. Failure to extract. Alright, so the next type of ammo we're going to use is Remington Thunderbolts. You didn't see that coming. Uh, failure to feed, just barely though. Hmm. A bad primer hit. Thunderbolt did better than I thought. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to use is Remington Green Box, also known as Remington uh, 22 Target Loads. Uh, this ain't really a self defense load, but for, you know, just for the heck of it, we're going to shoot it also. Bad primer. I should say bad primer, a light strike on the on the rimfire cartridge itself. That's what you get for rimfires. Bad one, bad primer. Alright, I know what some of y'all are saying. Damn, what's up, man? You're getting all these jams, all these different types of ammo. This must not be a great firearm. Well, it all depends on how you break the firearm in. And also, uh, a lot of those rounds you just seen, they're not really self-defense type rounds. I wouldn't really recommend any of those rounds for self-defense type use. Uh, but these next two types of ammo, you will see the performance of the firearm itself. Uh, the first we're going to use is a CCI uh, high velocity mini mags hollow points. Be a good self defense round. It's not quite as high, hot as a stinger, which we will shoot next, but it's a good, uh, good relative practice round if you want to use it. Also, you could use it for self defense also. Like I said, the ammo depends. Alright, this next round is the one that I would recommend personally for self-defense if you choose to carry this as a self-defense type firearm. Uh, they're known as CCI uh, Stingers. It's basically a hyper velocity round. It's much more uh, faster round shooting. Uh, if you're shooting it for target, you'll get crappy groups. You, you probably get a you know, paper plate size groups at about 10 yards if you're shooting target wise with these things. They got so much punch to them, but they're a great self defense load. Uh, one thing I wouldn't recommend though is shooting them all the time in this thing. I, I mean, it's great for time to time to check out, make sure it works, but shoot them all the time out, uh, you'll get a lot more wear on your firearm that you really need to do. So just use these for self defense if you're going to use them and uh, check and test them out, make sure they work for you.
Got a little more oomph. Nice little bit of flame. Best ones to use. 